Okay, so first step of making your Gorilla Tag fan game, you want to open up Unity. Okay, so after you have Unity open, you're going to go to Installs, Install Editor, this one, Install. Make sure you have Android click, that's all you need, you don't need anything else. You can have documentation if you want. Click Continue, I agree, Install, and then let that install. Next, you're going to click New Project. Then we're going to click 3D built-in render pipeline. Then you're going to go over here, name your project, whatever you want. I'm just going to name my tutorial project. Then you could put it in whatever location you want. And if you have an organization, put it in. You don't have to though. Then you're going to click create project. Next, you're going to click multi-pass, and then you're going to go to Android, and you're also going to put this to multi-pass. Then you're also going to click the plus, and do Oculus Touch Control. Okay, so after you've gone ahead and done that, you're going to go back to XR Plugin Management. Make sure you're on the Androids tab, and we're going to click Oculus. After you've done that, there's going to be a new tab called Oculus. Click that. And make sure you change, you go on the computer and you change single pass to multi pass and multi view to multi pass. And then click low overhead G L E S. And then for target devices, you can just click all three. Okay, so after you've done that, you're gonna just click the X. And I recommend going file and save just so all your stuff that you've done has saved. Then you're gonna go window, package manager. And right here where it says a plus, you're going to click that and do add package from get URL. Then you're going to type com.unity.xr.interaction.toolkit. Then you're going to go over here and click add. And after you've installed the XR Interaction Toolkit, it's going to put you on something random up here. So just scroll all the way down until you find XR Interaction Toolkit. And then you're going to be put on this screen. So I recommend going to version history. And since it's going to have the latest installed, I recommend degrading to the old version because the old version is the best version. So just click update. So after you have it installed, you're going to go to samples and start assets and you're just going to import it. After that, just click the X, go to console, clear if you have any errors then if it doesn't put you in this you'll go the you'll be on your assets so you just go to samples xr interaction this one starter assets then you're going to go to presets and on all of these you're going to click add to whatever it says okay so now you're done with that you're going to go to edit project settings and then you're going to go over to preset manager then you'll see the action based controller and you're just going to put right or right and left or left and make sure they are capital letters. Okay, after you're done with that, you're going to go to the link in the description or the comments and you're going to open this page up with the actual Gorilla Tag Locomotion. Then you're going to download this Gorilla Tag Locomotion package 
and after it's downloaded, you can import it two different ways. Either by going to your browser and going to the downloads tab and just dragging it in, or going to your assets tab and right clicking, then import package and import custom package. Then go to downloads and just double click the package and click all and then import it. And where it says reload, just click reload. But if you do import the package again and you click reload, it will clear your entire scene. So don't do that if you have a bunch of progress on your game. So now what you gotta do is make your map. So what I like to do is import this thing called Pro Builder and build my map with that. So you're gonna go to Window, Package Manager, then you're gonna go to Unity Registry, then you're gonna search up Pro Builder. And it's not gonna have a space between Pro and Builder. So then you're just gonna click Install. Okay, so after you have that installed, you can just close it. Then you're gonna go to Tools, Pro Builder, Pro Builder Window. This will open up. I recommend just putting it right here. All right, then you're gonna right click, you're gonna go Pro Builder, and you're gonna go Plan. And you can just name this Map. After that, you can size this up. Just a tiny bit though. And then, I like to click this top view and just drag over by clicking shift and your scroll wheel button and you can drag. Then you're going to click today's lines button and what I like to do is just make a cool little map by rotating these lines. Okay so after you have your floor built and different, you're just going to select every single side again. Okay, after you have every side selected, then you're going to do Control E, which is going to extrude it, then you're going to move it up, then you're going to click Control E again, and you're just going to move it up, and you're going to scale it out, and it should hopefully look like this. Then you're going to click Control E again, scale it up again, and you can keep doing this if you want the cool Capuchin, Seabus type look, and I'll just have it like a big thing. Then after you've done enough and you're happy with it, you're going to click Control E, then Control E again, and you're going to scale it in this time, move it to the middle, move it up, and then you should have a good enough map, and that will work for now. Okay, and now if you want to add textures, all you gotta do is create a folder, call it materials or maps, whatever you want. Then just go down to the description and join my Discord server. I'm gonna have a package that will have a bunch of materials in it. Okay, so next you wanna go create material and name that grass. And to make this even more organized, you can make a whole new folder called textures and put these textures inside of that folder and have this just for your materials, which I'm going to do right now. I recommend putting this smoothness to zero. Then you want to go to textures and make sure you have your thing selected and then drag this grass texture into this tab right here. Then go to mats. Then you're going to go all the way up to where you can see all your things. And then you're going to select all of them. So you should have everything selected. Then you want to unselect all your walls. After you have selected just the ground, you're going to go to Pro Builder. And then if you don't see a thing where it says Detach, you're going to just click this. Then go back to Faces. Then you're going to go to Detach Faces. After this has been done, you can drag the grass to your ground. And if you don't like how it looks, if the tiling is bad, you can go like this, go to here and do 0 0.5 on both of these. And that will make the tiling a little bit better, but if you still don't like that, you can raise that to 0 0.2. And in my opinion, that looks a lot better. Also, if you want pixelized textures, you're going to click your texture thing. You're going to go to here, and I recommend putting it to 256. And then you're going to go to filter mode and do point no filter. 
and then you're going to click apply. And then it will have the cool pixelized textures theme. And if you want it even more pixelized, you can just change this. The lower it is, the more pixels will be showing, so the more pixelated it will be. But I think 256 is a good point, so I'll just keep it to that. Next, if you want a wall texture, you can just copy and paste this one. And you can just rename it to wall, or stone, or rock, whatever you want. Then you could go to this rock texture, which is really good in my opinion. Or you can just get one off the internet. And boom, you just apply it to that. If you don't like the tiling, you can change it. And then if you want to pixelate it, just do the thingy again. And then it will be pixelated. So that's how you add a map. Now, you can really name these to what they are. Round. This is just to make it more organized. And then you can name this one wall. And to make it even more organized, you can click both of these. Right click, create empty parent, and just call this map. Okay, next what you want to do is go ahead and delete this main camera. Then you're going to go to resources, gorilla prefab, and then drag in this gorilla rig. Then you will see the gorilla rig, and this is the actual gorilla tag player. And if the map is a little bit too big, you can obviously just click here. And then you can just scale the map down, just like this. So it fits the gorilla player. And I think that's a lot more fitting for this Gorilla Tag player. Okay, next you want to drag the Gorilla Rig all the way to the top. Then you're going to go ahead and unpack it, which is right clicking, go to prefab, and then you're going to go unpack completely. Then you're going to go tracking into floor. And this stuff is already set up. Then go to left hand and right hand, and you're going to create a sphere collider. And you're going to have this at 0 0.06. And that's going to be a perfect glider for when you add hit sounds. And then make sure your map has a mesh collider so it's actually glidable. Also, something I forgot to mention, what you want to do is go to layer, add layer, and add a left and right layer. Then you're going to go to your left hand controller. And you're going to add the left layer to it, and the right hand controller, and you're going to add the right controller. Then you're going to go ahead and go to here, you're going to remove it, and you're going to search up XR Origin. And this is just a new and advanced version. And you're just going to go here and put the Gorilla Rig. Or you're going to put the Gorilla Player, and then you're going to put the main camera right here. And you're going to click Floor. And then you are done and you have a fully made Gorilla Tech fan game. So, okay, and after you're done with all of that, your game is ready to be tested. And all you gotta do is go to File, Build Settings, and then you're gonna go to Android and switch patch. You're gonna click Add Open Scenes. Then you're gonna go here and do ASTC. Then you're gonna go Max Texture Size to the, this one. Then you're gonna Apply Overrides. And then if you want your build to build faster, you can put it in development build, but make sure you uncheck this if you're releasing it on App Lab. Then you can just click build and name it whatever you want. Next, you're gonna click save, and then you're gonna click save, and click yes. And after that, I really would appreciate it if you just subscribe, because I'm trying to get 500 subscribers before the end of the month, which is, um, uh, like tomorrow somewhere whenever this video is posted but uh yeah um this is the end of the video make sure if you're new to the channel check out my other videos i have a bunch of other tutorials on Gorilla tech fan games but see you in the next one